Hi and welcome back to my book channel. I am sorry that the camera is in a really weird position. i currently in Maui and I forgot to bring my tripod so I'm kind of just balancing my phone on a little pillow. It is perfectly warm and humid outside and so I'm content to sit out here in my PJs. For November, I read two books. I read It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I also read Twisted Love by Anna Huang. Basically, It Starts With Us is the sequel to It Ends With Us and you have to read them both. Obviously, they're not standalones. Um, Here's the thing, It Ends With Us is, it's not a romance, though it is, you can find it in like the romance section. I wouldn't consider a romance. There was a relationship, but it ends up being a very violent relationship. The um, husband is abusive. Our main girl, Lily Bloom, has a childhood love interest who she reconnects with. And so that's what that story is. Then in the next book, it's about her and her childhood love and it talks about that story so for it starts with us i honestly was a little bit disappointed with this book it was kind of underwhelming there wasn't a lot that was going on there wasn't any drama it was kind of just they started dating again and they went on some dates and they still loved each other and then they were like oh i'm gonna spend the rest of my life with you um and it was a little bit boring I really wish that there was some more conflict, like something to keep me interested in the story. And so it kind of took me a little bit of time to finish that book because I kind of wasn't really intrigued. It, there was nothing drawing me in. I didn't want to, I wasn't curious or like waiting for something exciting to happen because it was just so slow and honestly, it wasn't my favorite. The second book that I read was Twisted Love by Anna Huang and i have seen this book on tiktok so much and i finally decided that i was going to read it because usually tiktok doesn't let me down but here's the thing with this book it was just so incredibly unrealistic the difference was it starts with us like colleen hoover she's like very realistic and i'm like okay that's fine like i'll read it but it's not like my fave then this book was just so completely unrealistic that i it was like I was reading a Wattpad story again and my friend even read it out loud and I was just like this sounds so ridiculous like we were laughing so much because the book just sounds crazy and so I don't think I'm gonna be reading the other books in the series because she has a bunch of standalones they all follow like a group of friends and like each friend has their own romance but I was just I just thought it was so silly the main character is this grumpy like mid-20 guy he is a genius so he graduated early and he started a few businesses in high school so he's a billionaire um he also is able to remember everything like he has that not photographic memory it's something else but he's basically able to remember every single thing that he's ever seen or heard um and because of that he's like relives his trauma all the time and he's also like a really serious guy he has like a ven a like a vengeance plan and i just thought wow like this is kind of crazy books are supposed to be like an escape they're supposed to be worlds where the most insane things happen and you're like well it's just a book like obviously this will never happen but when it comes to romance i kind of like my romance has to be a little bit more realistic not too realistic so this was kind of on the very extreme end so the trope of this book is grumpy sunshine his best friend's younger sister and she's like the super sunshiny happy person all the time and he's like the super grumpy guy that is like not nice to anybody and her brother has to go abroad for like this internship and so he asks his friends to take care of her and so they build this relationship over time but it was kind of a little bit like insta love to me it's supposed to be like enemy to lovers but i don't really see that all of a sudden they just like kind of fall in love and i think it's ridiculous because there's no build up to it it's just like oh he's jealous of you like and i have feelings for her like no other guy can touch her kind of thing um, so if you're into that, like, this is the perfect book for you. It's not like, it's almost like mafia romance, but it's like on the borderline, like, and it's very spicy. 
it ends with us was not no it starts with us was had no like barely any spice this book has a lot of spice i'd give it a three on spice like pretty average for december i did the amazon book quiz and i was given three books to read the first was the island the second was hidden pictures and then i also was given a gift from a friend an early christmas gift she gave me um, a thousand boy kisses and I finished that on the plane here and so the third book from the Amazon book quiz I it's called cartographer the cartographers and I have it with me but I have not started reading it so I'm not going to talk about that one I'll probably talk about it in my next video so we'll start with the island the three books that I was given were actually mystery thrillers none of them have to do with romance which is why I was a little bit surprised because I thought the book quiz would give me romances because that's what I usually go for but I was really happy to get something that I don't usually go for because I really did love these books and I think I'll be going to the mystery thriller a little bit more often because these were really well written books so The Island I really appreciated because it follows this young woman she's kind of like this underdog like you don't really expect her to succeed and it's a survival book so her and her husband, he's this 40 something year old doctor, and his two stepkids are all on a trip in Australia. And they take a ferry to an island because they want to see some wildlife. And this terrible accident happens, and now they're trapped on this island and they have to survive. But the thing is, the kids, they kind of really don't like her, like the girl, like her, the dad's new wife which is understandable, but they also, you can kind of get like their inner monologue, it's written in the book, they really don't believe that she's good at anything because she hasn't had like a proper education, so they think that she's dumb and like she's useless basically. She has really great survival skills and it's like, a, I think even though the whole book took place on a small island, them just trying to survive, I was so intrigued because there was always something happening, there's always some action and it was a really well written book so I really enjoyed it. The next book that I read was Hidden Pictures and this one scared me a little bit because it was about a vengeful spirit and whenever I read anything paranormal I get really scared and so this book actually did surprise me because it I had this I, this preconception of what it was going to be like super scary evil vengeful spirit and it was actually it was that but at the same time it was completely different basically we have another underdog female kind of an unreliable narrator she was a drug addict now she's been sober for almost 20 months and so she takes this job as a nanny and she takes care of the little boy of this wealthy family and over time she kind of realizes that his imaginary friend is a little bit suspicious his pictures start to get really creepy they turn from innocent child pictures of like terribly drawn bunnies to like perfect sculptures of a brutal death scene and so she's like why are you drawing stuff like this and turns out there's this ghost who has some unresolved past and needs help getting their story told so she ends up discovering what's happening and it's actually really interesting there's some family secrets going on and it was a pretty good plot twist i think i was very shocked by the ending the last book that i read was a thousand boy kisses and i have to say it was not my absolute favorite i think it was because it was ya and the thing about this book is very hallmark like the language between the kids and like when they became older was just so unrealistic like they're always saying these like very poetic things that I thought you know nobody would, would ever say this but it's a childhood romance they basically so they become childhood friends two lovers 10 years in the future it's very innocent but at the same time I was kind of weirded out because the reference to a thousand boy kisses is that the grandmother gives an adventure telling her to collect 1,000 boy kisses 
And I was just thinking, she's a five-year-old girl, why would you give her this type of adventure? Like, she shouldn't even, this is not her life goal, right? Like, she should be given some other type of adventure. Um, but what that was, that was what her grandma wanted her to do. Anyways, they have a falling out sometime in the future, and then they kind of have to, like, re-navigate like what they are to each other and it was a really sad book i was honestly on the plane just like sobbing and like there was snot everywhere and i felt so bad for the guy sitting next to me because it was just a disgusting mess and literally i have not cried this hard for a book since crying at h mart so if you want a really good cry and to read an innocent ya book this i think is the book for you if you want something a little bit more mature, then maybe try try checking the author's other books because I know she also writes new adult and dark fantasies. See you guys next time and goodbye. Thanks for watching.